Good morning. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen of the press. Please uh, have a seat. I'd like to start this press conference by addressing last Sunday's game. We won. The defense was solid as a rock. This is uh, about all I can say. Winning 12-9 in overtime in the NFL is like winning 3-2 in the 10th inning in baseball. What does that mean? I have no fucking idea. We won. We are 2-8. and eight, And that's that. There's nothing I could do. This is a short week. We played Sunday, and now we play Thursday. A lot of people are making a big deal about it. It does take time to heal from game to game in the NFL. Uh, but the way I look at it, it's like busting a nut and then having to bust one again right away. Sorry, it, it takes like a minute and 30 seconds for me to unload the first time. But the next one, whoo, that could be like a good 30 minutes. Yeah, at least 30 minutes. Sometimes I, I can't even get hard for the second blast. You, you, you ever blow a soft load? It sucks. Oh. Well, I hope I answered all your questions about the short week. Okay, uh, I'd like to say something to all the fans grumbling about our draft position and potential draft pick. Shut the fuck up and suck every dick you see today. Draft picks? What the fuck? First of all, when we lose, you call us fucking pieces of shit. Then if we win, you call us stupid pieces of shit because we are wrecking our draft position. Listen up, you fucking mutts. Football is the total team game. One draft pick can't change the quarterback, running back, offensive line, linebacker, secondary, or special teams. Gabish? Tom Brady was a fucking six-round pick. You know how many first-round picks the Patriots have had in the last 15 years? Or top 20? Probably none. They draft last almost every year because they win every year. So who are they winning with? High draft picks? No! They win with smart trades and an amazing coaching staff. I'm not stupid. I can handle things. I'm smart. Not like everybody says. Like dumb. I'm smart, and I want respect. Just a heads up. My mother-in-law is 18 and 7 in her picks. Okay, one of our fans pointed that out last week. She is uh, 18 and 7. That's still pretty fucking amazing, okay? She will go to mybookie.ag, put in the promo code VIC50. Because remember, the promo code changes for the press conferences. Why? I don't know. He's on third, and I don't care. Just call mybookie.ag and ask them. My mother-in-law will give her pick tomorrow. You don't like it? Go stick a high-round draft pick up your ass. All right. Here's the injury report. Munson. Ruptured pussy. Questionable. Darkwa. Inflamed tit. Clairvoyant. Goodson. Overheated nutsack. Inadvisable. Pew. Fart breath. Hideous. Sterling. Semen overdose. Grotesque. John, Peter, Paul, and Mary. Erection lasting longer than four hours. Unwatchable. Everyone else is an idiot. And I don't give a shit whether they suit up or ship out. Okay. So we go to Washington tomorrow. It should be a meaningful game, but, but it isn't. I remember watching uh, the comic Andy Kaufman. Remember him? That, that foreign character he would do on stage? And he was talking about the NFL. He said, y y you know, you know I, I, I don't understand American football. The, the Giants are no bigger than anyone else. And the Redskins are mostly black. Thank you very much. That about sums up the game. We will approach this game as though we are pretty much the same size as the Redskins and that there really aren't any Native Americans on that team. If you don't understand, then pull your pants down and slap your lap meat with a tennis racket. Got it? All right, that's it for today. 
I have fulfilled my obligation to speak once a week during the week and address the sports writers. I hope I made myself crystal clear today. There's food in the other room. Try to veal. It's the best in the NFL. See you tomorrow night. Go Big Blue.